Yes, yes, y'all people. Welcome back to the channel with more Gran Turismo 7. Now, guys, this is another tuning video on how to tune cars in Gran Turismo 7. And it's also like two videos in the form of one. So this is like an in-depth look at suspension tuning and LSD tuning and how it's very important to finish off your build with a fully customizable LSD. So this is how to tune LSD in Gran Turismo 7 and an in-depth suspension guide for Gran Turismo more seven now guys i thought i'd pick the amiar fd3 s rx7 and um, because it's quite a cheap rx7 in the game and it looks really really good we're going to be throwing it into the world touring car 600 i'll show you the full build and basically it's not going to be too long and too um dragged out this video it's literally going to be straight to the point so when it comes to your lsds and tuning your lsd in gran turismo 7 i would focus on building all of the car first and leaving the lsd to last um i just find that for me personally it's just something i'd like to put on the car as a finishing little like cherry on the cake because if you do have any excess wheel spin in rear wheel drive cars um, or even front wheel drive cars as this guide will apply to front wheel drive and rear wheel drive cars in Gran Turismo 7 on how to tune the suspension and the LSD so this is the most detailed suspension tuning setup for rear wheel drive cars in Gran Turismo 7 and also this is the um, I'd call it a default so if you put in fully customizable LSD on any rear wheel drive car in Gran Turismo 7 and you want it to be competitive you want to eliminate the wheel spin um, and get the most power put down without wasting it please use 10 10 and 20 for the fully customizable lsd in gran turismo 7 use this as a basic default tune for yourself for the lsd and increase the acceleration and increase the um overall torque from 10 by a point at a time just so you don't put too much power in through the lsd i'm hoping i'm getting to the point quite simple and straightforward i've noticed there's a lot of really really just bs videos on gran turismo 7 so if you pay attention to the natural frequency on the suspension the camber and the toe out angle on the front and the rear um to keep the car turnable but fully stable this is the best comprehensive suspension tuning setup for rear wheel drive cars in Gran Turismo 7 and again it's the same for the LSD setup for a fully customizable LSD for rear wheel drive cars in Gran Turismo 7. So this is the last two laps of the world touring car 600 and as you can see from the build we have no engine or no bodywork upgrades on this car whatsoever we've literally focused on suspension the alignment and the lsd tuning and also the gear ratios to put the most power and get the most out of the car through the race on each lap now, when I tune and build cars, I build them with the aim to drive the car as hard as possible. So that's why I focus mainly on the footwork. Once the car's got the handling dialed down and you can really, really push the car hard, then that's when you'll start looking to upgrade BHP and engine modifications. But until then, please just focus on your suspension tuning and leave the LSD until last. So I'll always tune the suspension first, then put the LSD on last and then use that to finish off the overall tune and the overall build and as you can see if you stick to using this as a basic rule of thumb when building the rear wheel drive um, actual competitive race cars then guys you, you'll be able to get the most out of your builds um, it don't matter if it's a really expensive car or it's a really cheap road car they've built up to the spec I've chose this FD3S um, because I know that a lot of people have had a little bit of trouble actually tuning it and getting it to actually handle on track um, also this was a subscriber request 
So um, a big shout out to all the subscribers who have subscribed over the last few weeks. Your support is appreciated so much. Thank you. Big shout out to you guys. If you're enjoying the videos, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below on what you think to the actual tune and the build. If you have any questions regarding any advice, help or tips with tuning in Gran Turismo 7, um, please feel free to leave that in the comment section down below I do respond back to every comment once I've seen them um, stay tuned for more Gran Turismo 7 content uploading as we speak we are bringing some new Forza Horizon 5 content to the channel but with the previous videos for Gran Turismo 7 I did just want to follow it up I probably will put all these tuning guide videos into one video probably like a 35 minute video just a comprehensive full tuning guide so um, if you want to see that leave it in the comment section down below and smash the like button on this video um, other than that guys um, that's pretty much it to be honest your towing and tow out angle really important um, the acceleration and the um, overall torque distribution for the LSD that's really important but Working on the previous guide videos that I've put up for Gran Turismo 7, if you want to go through and check them if you haven't already, I'm picking every little element that I'd say people struggle tuning and I'm just giving you a really quick, simple, easy, straightforward, just explanation and then giving you a really good default tune that you yourself then can take and edit on top of how you see fit. Um, yeah. So if you watch that guys, if you look at the tuning and the actual handling, um, I think it speaks for itself to be honest. As with all real wheel drive cars, um, you will still be able to kick the back end out, but that's only if you are going really, really hard and you've not got both the rear wheels sat completely on asphalt for traction. So i.e. you've got one wheel and you turn in a corner and it's up on the apex. So again guys, stay tuned for more Gran Turismo 7 content. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Until next time, happy racing, stay safe, peace.